Meet Jane is the subject of today's coaching video. My name is Jody Bunting and this is another one of our live coaching videos where our slimmers are going to lose a stone in the next six weeks. Hi Jane. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good thank you. It's quite a few years since I've seen you isn't it? It is, it is and it's all Fiona's fault. Oh it <laughs> <laughs> Blame Fiona for this, eh? Yeah, definitely. No responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> so since I saw you, we've had COVID, we've had the pandemic and all that sort of jazz. How have you been getting on through all this? Good, good, good. Um, just, tri you know, tripping along, you know. <laughs> and how has it affected your weight, your your food pattern, your activity pattern? Have you had any challenges? It's it's altered it quite a bit, actually, because obviously I'm working from home. It's little things that have changed, you know, um, sort of like parking in town, having to walk to work, um, you know, just getting up from the dining table to go to the kitchen, you know. Some, oh, and sometimes pegging out. That might yeah. be as far as I go uh, <laughs> on it. during my working hours anyway. So you did put in your form about comfort eating. So this yeah. was the biggest thing I think that everybody found with with lockdown in particular. You know, the food was there. They had nothing else to do. So they were just grazing all the time, weren't they? Is that still the issue now that you've got? Um, I think I've got in, I've, I think I've got into um, a bit of a routine, but sometimes uh, what struck me with the downloading of the fitness pal i'm just eating too much really yeah. and i thought i was being really healthy and um i think i'm eating for two really <laughs> <laughs> have you counted calories before um i like food too much really is the yeah. honest answer <laughs> <laughs> because you you will notice that the ww app that we used to do together is very similar to my fitness pal the the biggest difference is the fact that we haven't got any free foods anymore everything has got calories and we're counting everything um so it's good in a way that you've started to realize that you are eating too much because this is the the good thing about counting calories you start to see that things like fruit has actually got a lot of calories in and it can be a big reason why you're not losing weight so hopefully it's going to be a little bit of an education um and particularly do you like fruit yeah yeah, you'll start to realize that things like berries, strawberries and all these lovely summer berries that are coming into season now are much better than really sweet fruits like oranges and bananas. And because they've got quite a lot of calories uh, and they're really, really sweet as well. So hopefully uh, using the app will just steer you in the right direction of what to have. OK. Now, one of your other goals for the six weeks is to drop a dress size which yeah. is great because it's good not to just focus on the weight. It's good to focus on your body shape as well. So we will definitely get you a dress size down. Does that sound good? It does because um, I've got a lot of clothes in Spain and I'm, I'm just taking underwear. So if I don't lose this, I won't have nothing to wear <laughs> other than the stuff that I fly in. <laughs> when are you going to spain august i'm going in august right so right so we've got quite a few months then to sort this out yeah <laughs> and is it just a dress size you need to lose to get to yeah to those clothes yeah. that are in spain yeah. perfect yeah i'd say yeah i'd say i need to lose at least a stone to stone enough to be comfortable to look nice in them but a stone's a good start and how are your activity levels at the moment? Um, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, obviously, during the day, I'm quite sedentary. Um, but I go to the gym um, three times a week. I got Great. out and bike um, because that's one of the things I did in COVID. And good mentally, really. Just went Absolutely. off into the other zone. Um, and... Um, just pedaled and it's and I don't do very well on a bike in a gym I like I'm a bit nosy you know and 
<laughs> you know, just <laughs> like, you know, like um, I've got a set route and I built it up to about 12 miles. And then when I got to that, I thought uh, even quicker. Well, I've yeah. dropped that off. I haven't done that for the last, I don't know, six months, eight months. Um, and I'm a fair weather cyclist. I don't really do wind and rain, really. Yeah. And so I start in March. What well, last time I started in March and went through to July and um, in lockdown, and that helped. You know. Great. So hopefully we'll have some good weather then, and you'll feel like doing a little bit of that. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And. Do you have a Fitbit or any sort of tracking device that tracks your activity, your steps? I do. Um, it's here, but um, here. Oh, great! But um, as you can tell, it's in the box. I've got that. <laughs> um, I've got. <laughs> I've got a girl, man. Um, but I, um, I. I find it a bit of a. Um, a stick not a carrot yeah uh, to be honest so i'm just starting steady i'm getting into a routine i got my bike out got my padded pants on off i went and i thought yeah you you know like you know try and do that twice a week do my gym three times a week yeah and perfect small and steady is what i saw rather than but I, I don't find it very motivational me fit bit to be honest i've got one as you yeah. tell yeah it don't it don't do you know certain things don't do it for you yeah um, absolutely and okay. you know people are all wired differently so this is why it's good to try all these things and you find out what's useful but you, you're exactly right getting in the great outdoors is 100 percent the best thing to do so if you can get on your bike then fabulous just have a little backup plan because i've been reading that may is going to be quite cold and windy and stuff so Oh, you need to right. have a backup plan just in case you don't get out there on your bike. A plane trip to somewhere warm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come with you, Jane. Let's go. All right. All right. Okay, but we've got to get we've got to lose some work because I'm not wearing anything. <laughs> right. So we've got our plan. Um, and you've managed to download the app, have you, my fitness pal? I have. Great. Yeah. So all I want you to do then is to track on the app and then next week we'll go through your food diary. Uh, and if I need to to guide you through uh, and make some improvements, we will. But that's initially all you need to do. Just track your food, get a little bit of activity. So nice, easy week. How is your water intake? I'm rubbish at it. I, um, I drink a lot of tea. I'm a bit of a tea belly. And yeah. Um, uh, next week, this week is the bite. Next week, I um, I'm going to try and drink a glass of water after each meal because I'm not I'm not a sipper. I'm not one of these that sit with a bottle. That yeah. didn't do it for me. So I'm going to try next week to have a glass of water after every meal, um, and then build it up. Um, I, I don't like water to be honest yeah. I um but in saying that I've been drinking a lot of water because I've been hungry <laughs> so <laughs> it is good to, to get rid of the hunger feelings but yeah you, you're doing it exactly right just having a big glass of water after your meal or before your meal will really help with your intake okay great right that's it from me have you got any other questions no no excellent right well it was so nice to see you jane we will do it exactly the same next week and as i said when we've got your food diary here we'll go through that and we'll be able to give you more advice where to go from here okay bro you you look fantastic by the way so what happened you. to you <laughs> what happened the strange thing is i actually did very similar to yourself i bought myself a bike and for the first time, I stopped all my exercise classes and I actually started to bike every day. And it was almost exactly the same as you. I also had a little route 
and I used to time myself on that route and it, the route started to get bigger and bigger. Um, and I loved lockdown. I really, really enjoyed it because I got to focus on me and my health and my fitness. So I loved lockdown. <laughs> uh, I also did, I tried the keto diet for the first time ever. I don't know whether you ever heard about keto. It's that got the protein one. Is it's it, the um... one it's it's basically low carb right um and that really worked for me as well purely because it was taking away all like the pasta and the bread uh, and just replacing it with more vegetables and meat and protein and stuff so that was kind of what worked for me nutritionally and how I kind of coach all my clients now so yeah one of the things that we may need to talk about is is that in future is um obviously like I um strength you know I, I weight lift and yeah. one of the problems was I was having to eat to uh talking of protein that's sort of like prompted me um to lift and um you know obviously as if you're bigger you can it's easier um, but I, I, I looked so chunky I didn't like it so I I had a gym affair <laughs> oh did you <laughs> I did and I left the trainer and went you know <laughs> it's I'm only confessing to you and I'm not I've not told him yet yeah and, um I did something completely different um don't get me wrong, you know, like I was like deadlifting like hundred kg, you know, I, you know that was fantastic. But my goals weren't his goals weren't my goals. Yeah, if you know I mean, but in saying that, I am going back because um, because I miss the group, you know. Yeah. I, um, but I think we're gonna have to. I need your help to not so that I don't go dizzy you know and um um I, I see how I go so so I can lift but like I don't want arms like Arnie I, you know that like I I um bought a cardigan and um I couldn't get my arms in the cardigan not because wow. like yeah um, oh, I would really suggest to go for really light weights. That's the key. Oh, this isn't light. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't give you the option to go light. No, no, I, um, no, basically. Okay. So, yeah, the problem is when you go for big weights, it does make the muscle grow really fast, really quickly. So this is the issue that you have. So somehow, I don't know whether you can approach the subject with him, but you definitely need to somehow do uh, lower weights. He ain't gonna have that, I tell you that now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll have to see, and that's sort of like in about two or three weeks time that I'll be going back. Yeah. Um, but like, for example, um I was like squatting 65 kilos wow. was deadlifting you know well I told you, not about 87 and then I lifted a hundred and benching 40 odd and you know like not like eight kilogram like 10 reps type things but um I, it's a late I, I don't know which way to go because I, I enjoyed it but I don't I didn't like the body shape that I was if yeah. you know what I mean it's so, a hard one isn't it do they not do any of the classes there that you could join no it's a barbell training club that's what oh, we do <laughs> yeah yeah it's it's all um um squatting deadlifting military press um, benching that's all we do it's all barbell work and how regularly were you doing it three times a week okay so maybe just doing it once or twice a week is the other thing to to slow down the 
the muscle gain. Yeah. Will he have that or does he make you go three times a week? Yeah. <laughs> I know what these personal trainers are like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Yes. Right. We'll, we'll address this again then in a couple of weeks before you're ready to go back. <laughs> yeah and and if it may be you know it, it might be a compromise that I just you know just so that like I drop my dress size and then I can fit into my clothes which is my the trouble is is that I go with a, a friend and she's about the same height as me but she only weighs about eight and a half stone you yeah. know but my my physique obviously and my love of food is a bad combination for weight training you know yeah. what I mean? I'm going to end up like Arnie. Yeah. Naturally, like yeah. Arnie. Yeah. Uh, whereas she doesn't, uh, she's doesn't celiac happen. as well, which helps because she yeah. doesn't, you know. <laughs> which, you know, bless her. But anyway. Right. I'm we will quiet. figure this out for you, okay? Yeah. So Great. I'm a bit more challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. We'll get there, Jane. Okay. Right. Thank okay. you so much. I will speak to you next week. Okay, thank you. Okay. Bye. Thank you.